This is the new era of zombies and our replacement for DMZ, which zombies is of course now based on. I played completely through DMZ, so if you don't know anything, are confused, or just want to see my initial impressions, this is it. So let's go through this extraction game, and while it's not round based anymore, it will still ramp up in difficulty, which we will go through in a bit. But if you go to the bottom right, this game is based at least before the first season drops into three different acts. The first season I'll also be introducing the big Warzone update, stay tuned for that. I'm covering it for sure. These will be the main story missions we're progressing through all the way down to the bottom, completing the act, taking us to the next one with XP and in-game helpful rewards along the way. In this, you have an operator or strike team that you will choose to go in with. I've chosen Reyes, my classic from the last game, but you could choose any operator, it really doesn't matter. Those pay to win advantages from DMZ, by the way, I am not seeing on here, like starting with a UAV or self res. Each character as you go through will be able to get self res, durable mask, armor plates, kill streak, as well as a backpack or rucksack, it is now called, starting with five slots. It can be upgraded to medium and large bag. And I did see it doesn't look like you can carry three guns in this game. And now there are a couple different stashes, one of those still being your contraband, which are weapons that you'll find in X fill, your insured slot, which will let you choose any of the weapons and fully customize them. Of course, I don't have them all unlocked yet, although I do have the previous game's guns. We'll try some of the new ones here. But within the bags, you can now X fill acquisitions, which are like one-time buffs, and then schematics, which lets you make those. I'll go through some of these as we go, but this does include the big wonder weapons. And yes, there are mystery boxes that maybe we'll even get lucky on. There's also completely different field upgrades for this mode, but I'm not sure how easy this is actually gonna be to hop in solo. So let's try it. Welcome to the Operation Deadbolt. Put on what will hopefully be an easy mission, completing a contracting game. Look at the map. So this is gonna be the same map that's also coming, of course, to the new Battle Royale for Urzik stand. So it's gonna be a nice little early learning process for it. And while I am queuing in solo and landing in here, it is putting us in with 24 other players on this map. I'm also playing on Xbox to play this a day early, get you guys the content. So, uh, you know, give it a little like and we'll be in full effect tomorrow, even running with the squad for it. On the outside, we have the easier to kill zombies. Don't need all the pack a punch and upgrades. All right, so this is the essence. This is gonna be the main currency in the game and anything that you see has numbers as well. Looks like a lot of these are very similar to DMZ. We will just be able to go to buy stations and sell. Here we go, contract. Let's mark it and get it done for our main mission as these guys just keep on coming. Besides buy stations though, there's Pack-a-punch machines, Perca-Cola machines, which you can also find off of kills, complete missions, and fill your bag up with. Probably the best thing you're going to want to exfil with or look for is the schematics, though. There's also guns you can just buy right off the wall. Similar to old zombies, but I don't know how useful that will really be. Contract acquired here. I'm not sure if they're going to mark. They do. The mystery boxes was the last of those stations around the map you can interact with. Oh, and here's a pack-a-punch machine. We need 5,000 essence. And there's still the drops. <laughs> they didn't even have that in the notes. Does that mean instant kill and nuke is in this as well? Maybe not nuke, you couldn't clear out the whole map. Maybe it's just in proximity of you. Oh, hello. Maybe I should have put that on the boss. We need to get range. Stun? Now, this is just a starting contraband gun that it gave me as well, but the way insured guns work. Jeez, this thing has a lot of health. Is if you die and lose your operator, that will go on cooldown. So you really don't want to die with your operator. Of course, I'll lose my contraband gun and anything else that I have on me as well. That's the risk of the extraction element. If I want to keep anything, 
I have to actually successfully exfil from the game at the end of this. Let's see if we can go to height. Oh, he's charging something up. There we go. I think I got his helmet off. What? And that thing just tracks me. Good thing I got a lot of ammo. They had a contract like this in DMZ called the High Value Target, and this is significantly harder to try and solo than that. A lot of the elements are still the same, though. The duct tape, comic books. Oh, oh it knocked me back even. Oh, no. I'm out of ammo, and I didn't bring a secondary gun. I thought it'd be easier to find a gun off the ground. Did he get a helmet back? <laughs> okay, that was a lot harder than I thought it would be. It, it probably makes sense to even play this as a squad, um, you know, just off the rip. Look at that, it has a rift that gives me some rewards, including napalm burst in, which I can just put straight in my gun. And now catches them on fire. Oh, I like that. I haven't found any other gun. I guess we got to buy it off the wall, which we could do. In we here. completed the contract, so now we just need to exfil. We can only have one of these missions on at a time. Oh, here we go. 200 for purified water. Green item, too. I love this as well that they actually have things you have gathered 5, essence. highlighted. Five yeah. Let's go back to this radiation building. Oh, an instant pack of punches. What? Oh, that looks kind of nice. This will let us do now more damage. And holy, look at the magazine size. Look at the ammo count. 120 round mag. Strongholds were a nice place to get a little bit of a comp. Oh, wow. It even shows you the other players on the map. And you can see most of them are in a team. But if I want to keep the stuff that I have, I do need to make it to an actual exfil. And holy, these go fast. Even when you go on the vertical ones that send you up, they go way faster, which I do appreciate. Merc cash. Ooh. This is one of the reasons I came in with only one gun. I wanted to see if we could fill our stash with some more stuff, especially because obviously we're right at the beginning of the game and I don't have anything unlocked. All of this XP is leveling everything for Warzone, though, as well as, of course, multiplayer in the rest of the game. Insta-kill! Oh my... Gosh, this is going to be the XP farm, though, no? I feel like there's going to be some crazy way to get a ton of XP in this. Oh, I wonder if you got insta-kill against the... Oh, jeez. Boss, if that would one-shot that as well. It may not even let it spawn on you on that case. All right, we got to get off this island. But it's kind of nice if you wanted to just hop on, grind some weapons. You don't necessarily have to worry about the PvP threat. Which I know a lot of people do want this to be a PvP experience as well. So here it is. Calling the exfil chopper. And of course, if we were to just leave, we would lose everything. And I kind of like the idea of a successful exfil or a way to end the zombies match. Oh, look, this spawns a bunch of zombies. Maybe this is how we force the farm. Hello? Oh, I don't have my mic in on this. Xbox. Oh, look at this. He's helping me. Should I let him die? <laughs> Dino 4, get me out of here. I need X fill. Dino 4, get me out of here. What is this? 
I only got one up a one plate armor though, so it doesn't really matter much. Oh, I see. So I have fire rounds, and now I'm pack-a-punched up to one. You can double pack-a-punch guns. There's also different rarities of them as we go through, but... All right, let's put some more missions down. And that gave us a Juggernaut can, which we can use as an acquisition that's a one-time use. We'll bring it on the next one, see how it goes. Ooh, a lot of challenges, a lot of XP. Level five in one game... Pretty good considering how quick that went. So I'm gonna throw my LMG into my stash with all the other guns and all the other items and just junk that I picked up, if I don't sell it, it doesn't keep. Only the acquisitions, the items, or uh, Juggernaut, for example. This is one thing we just got from an award, so a reward, so I'll put that on. We'll keep, as well as schematics you can keep going forwards. But don't worry, I'm not leaving you quite there yet. We are gonna go try and see what the mystery box looks like. I know not everybody liked DMZ as well, but one thing I really did enjoy was the level of intensity at some of the end games. And I'm concerned that this game is not going to produce the same in that aspect. I think it's going to be a very specific person that enjoys this and wants to kind of grind in PvE without having to worry about other players. What is this? Enemy counter UAV marked. Counter UAV? I don't know who is going to be the most excited for this mode though if the easter eggs are gonna be fun you guys tell me in the comments if you're excited after you've seen what i've got to show you today does it look good does it look like a fun xp farm is it gonna be something you want to grind and complete the axe for before the new season but let's see ray gun first shot 360 prone jump double prone garbage man just garbage i spent all this money on nothing Throw down the mine, eat it, and I'm out of here. We'll try with the squad tomorrow. See what happens. Thanks for watching.